Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls and welcome, welcome, welcome to the iGaming Indie Games channel here on YouTube. My name is VRN20 and thank you so much for coming to join us today. If you're not already done so, please do subscribe and turn off the notification bell so you can then be notified when we upload a brand new video. Now, this channel has been live for the past few months, um, but we have been concentrating on our other channel, um, which is our Minecraft channel, which you can find the link down below in the description box. Please do also come over and join us on Twitch as well for live streaming of Minecraft. Now, we are actually going to be working on a few videos actually for this channel. So please do actually subscribe um, so you can actually then see what we've got going on here on the Indie Games channel for yourselves. So literally we are playing Airport CEO and literally there has been a few changes happening since I've actually played this game. So let's go in, let's start a brand new adventure. Uh, let's get uh this sort of so let's get our characters sorted out as quickly as possible um so i quite like this let's see uh and there we go so let's go then with our um usual thing of i gaming as always on our channels um here on this channel and also with our other channel as well for minecraft we we tend to try and use the iGaming gaming part so i do live in the uk and i do live in manchester so let's go on to the manchester airport go on to the next one and here we go so let's go with um, the uh, i international um, airport and let's then use the E I A and let's then find uh, the beautiful logo I quite like so I quite like this logo let's go in for a larger map easy mode so we've got easy moderate difficult and a stream uh, we will be doing four little seasons on this one. So we are actually starting off with easy. And um, then we can then go through. Um, I may actually do the sandbox mode as well. On one of the other seasons. So there could actually be about five seasons in all. Now I've not actually been up <laughs> long. Um, I've only woken up about like an hour ago. So I got a few emails, got myself a cup of coffee, a little bit of water, something to eat, and then recording for, for YouTube. So let's jump onto the main screen um, so we don't have to be on the loading screen. So we'll see you very soon, everybody. So then, everybody, we are here. We are on a large map. So the original map... Um, when this game came out as being the large one was actually just four squares so literally these two here and these two here now we've got these two on these bits here and which is quite quite good so let's start the introduction this is just go through all the little bits um, so this here will just help us on that to keep track of what we're needing to do um, so of course we need to sign a contract with a contractor and start getting everything all placed in now what the plan is for this airport is that we are going to have a general aviation um area so we can get a little bit of regular income coming in and that's how we're going to be starting this off today then with our main airport over on this side here and as we start going into like the larger um runways and platforms and taxiways and stuff that's all going to come up into this top section here so we're needing to try and keep this entire thing as as suited as possible um which is kind of like the really best way so here we're just wanting to make sure that we've got our large um section here 
and then a smaller one down here with a runway so that's what we're going to be doing now if you do wear ambulances i do apologize <laughs> i do live quite close to a hospital um in manchester so yeah so you've got a choice of grass or asphalt now i always prefer to use asphalt um for our airports because that's what i believe is actually the best um for this so we're actually going to put like a little um sections here um so they can actually come up and round uh let's throw out our taxi runway so i actually like to go the five width i do um so it keeps it dead band center for everything there and then what we're going to do is we're then going to get a parking area for the um airplanes now this here is just literally for um the aviation ones and that just to come in when we do our research we should be able to go underground as well which is quite of a, a different way of actually doing it um and that would then actually allow us to then um have vehicles actually going underground or the baggage system um so i'm actually quite bundled up of um a cold um today so literally um i am kind of like struggling today um to actually speak because uh, normally i'm not this bond up so um I do apologize if i sound kind of like uh, <laughs> uh but that's perfectly fine um today um so yeah so don't forget to actually pop over to our other channel here on youtube and um, which is our minecraft channel um so i do play games like this as well um because that's just something what i actually quite enjoy doing um so yeah now what thing is right here with these a and um, these air traffic control of it, um atcs is that you've got to place it somewhere on the map and it doesn't really matter where so what we're going to do is we're just going to pump it there and um, because we can <laughs> and because we can now now to get onto this page here just press tab and then you'll be able to come on and then let you get full access to this here go over to the economy um offer contracts and we're actually going to go with blakely so blake or like blakely even <laughs> um so with these guys here you get more contractors and the our fees are a lot more better so we're just going to get that signed up straight away um because that's just something what we do need um for this so let's get this now started uh actually before we do anything we need him to come in here and we need him just to get our um contracts in um our contractors in as soon as possible so we can get this built up as quickly as so they'll drop off everything there all the workers are going to come in and then hopefully everything will be fine and they're going to get working straight away and that's the entire reason why that we're doing it like this now we are going to set up a, um, a little terminal straight away this is actually for the office staff and this is so we're actually going to go by a 8x8 and then we are going to come into our uh let's just pause this for a sec <laughs> and we are actually going to come into our uh where is it today where is it ah there we go so into terminal <clears throat> and we're actually going to go with doors we're going to go with a large door and we're then going to place it there onto this little bit of a wall here and windows as well um i like to have a lot of windows i do um now i always seem to get confused on really how to set up these windows fully um 
so it's they really need to try and make that just a little bit easier to understand um but that's okay <laughs> that's okay um so yeah so let's get this this here done and uh, let's get this placed into here so yeah um if if you do like the content please do actually subscribe anyway um because it's like really really amazing for the um support which everybody has actually given us um so on our other channel on a minecraft channel we've got about 1300 so 1300 people um of beautiful support which we've actually got um so that's really quite amazing so thank you so much and that's everybody who's actually supported us on that channel as well so what we do need to do here is that we need to sell out a fence going around the entire um airport now we can actually take these off um as needed um so let's do this straight up to here oh look at that perfect perfect fit <laughs> perfect fit okay um so let's get in then our vehicle checkpoint because we're needing to get this in place so on the one with the spanners is actually the maintenance side and on the other side needs to go onto the wall um right there as well so we we can get that done as soon as possible now what we do need is to sort out for those um for the maintenance side and so we are literally just going to get all this there done as quickly as possible so then we can actually then meet our first five um uh, airplanes and that to come in get landed um i think we've actually got like 12 stands here um for the general aviation um so that's fine so let's get this sorted out here get this here done so the only reason why that we're wanting to build the office um quite quick is actually due to the fact that we're needing to do research so what the research then allows us to do is that we can actually start getting things done as quickly as possible so we need to allow general aviation coming in so that's fine let's get this open so we can open up the wrong way okay and now we can start getting in our general aviation in as uh, quickly as possible there as well uh that i kind of like enough these up a little bit here i wanna oh god no that's okay just leave it as that <laughs> leave it as that for that one there um that's perfectly fine um so let's come back into here let's sort out the fencing um down to here we then need to place a gating as well because we need to place a gate so we're just going to place it into there like that and then what we can actually do is we can actually place a sidewalk into here um so let's actually just place this sidewalk in as nice as possible there we go that's all done let's then get a um a crossroad like i said a crossing in because uh, this gate it will then allow people to then come into here straight away uh, which is quite important and then into the staff so we're going to mark this up as being a staff zone uh as a staff room and we can then start placing in then um all the uh computers in um for the admin staff now we do need to get in all the admin staff or the ceo so we can actually increase the prices what we then charge and now to do that this is how we're going to do it um so we're actually going to go into staff we're going to go into applicants 
we're going to increase this section here straight away and first of all we need to go into our secretives um, so we've got a COO um, there let's go into administrator and we're going to go one two three uh, actually let's just get all them there uh, executives we've got a COO already and then literally yeah so what we can now do now that we've got all that there kind of sorted let's first of all just pause that there and what we then need to do is to then bring in a bus stop in right and our bus stop we can actually place there okay and then we need in then a car stop right and we can then place a car stop and then a taxi stop as well now we can actually get parking lots here as well and this is what we're going to kind of like use as well um, because that's what we can do and um, because it's really amazing <laughs> that we can actually use um, parking lots so we're going to just place this down here like so now what we do need to do then is then we need to come into here we're going to get our sidewalk we're going to then place the sidewalk coming around onto this section here and then we're going to do then like a thin sidewalk coming around the entire um, section here as well so then they can actually get up onto there as needed now we do need to then get um, some lights so I quite like um, these big ones these big boys uh, I do so we can actually just place um, a few lights in um, because that's something what we can do here very quickly it's just to make sure that we've got enough lighting in in place for this um, because like yeah <laughs> it's needed so we're going to get this here done we can then start working on getting other things done then as needed so let's just place that there and that there and then here uh, one there one there and um, so yeah I like to make sure that I've got enough lights <laughs> you see um, because that's just one thing I, I always do on these kind of games I like to make sure that there's enough lighting um, because you don't really want to be going down somewhere where it's really really dark and really horrible it's kind of like yeah not nice <laughs> not nice at all so let's get this now sorted so let's get this sped up um, straight away let's get all these lights in we've got all our contractors going all our people coming in soon and <clears throat> um, so that's what's going to then happen there we go so we've actually got some lights and we are making money which is really really important so this is how we're then going to start increasing our fees so we need a CFO so our CFO is actually really quite important for this um, and for some reason oh there we go yeah for some reason we can't seem to get a decent CFO so I'm actually just going to reject all these here. Oh, there we go, CFO. Let's get that one straight away. Um, <laughs> and so we can actually now start increasing other fees. Now, you can actually go up to like 750 for the mediums or to um, 2250 for the... So 750 for the small, 2250 for the medium, and I think it's about 37 um, for the large. For general aviation, we can only put up to like 600 before it starts going up into the bed. And then here, we can actually put this up to three. Uh, here, I think it's about 
um, seven um, cents or seven pence or seventy pence even um, for there. Um, for meals, we can actually place this up to like seven fifty. Common cleaning up to three seventy. De-icing when when we get that done. Uh, which we can only put up to 15 anger repairs up to 900 then passion of passenger handling fees I think is about 22 baggage fees I think is about 15 bathroom usage which we don't have um, just yet um, but we are going to just do that as like and two quid because we can <laughs> And then here we can only go to 7.5%. Um, for the vending parking fees, we can actually go up to 15. Long-term parking, we can actually, uh, that's actually changed. That has owned quite a bit because that, that actually used to be like 25, but it's like 300, um, which is not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Right, so what's happening here? Uh, why can't you not? I thought that would body gate in. Oh, right, okay. So let me... Let me just sort this out. Right, okay. Is that better? Can you now get access there? Um, I'm going to say you can... Right, okay, I don't know what's happening with this lot. <laughs> I really don't know what's happening with the slot here um, because this should this should be able to get in um, straight away into here so I don't understand why why they, they can't because there is actually doors there so yeah this, this normally happens this does that. anyway so what we are going to do is uh we are leaving it there um for this one here so we've actually got um 2.2 million left into the account um i would have to probably just have to reload this up find out what's actually going on with this and then literally yes yeah, so we are going to leave it there so yet again thank you very much um to you all and that for being here with us um so please do stay safe and as always directly from myself to you all it's a ciao ciao for now and we'll catch you next time bye bye everybody